Did you do it? Yes. What did it cost? Everything. Including, but not limited to, my free time, sanity, and enjoyment of the game. Hey everyone, Thornton and Smash and Lagatha here, and today we're going to be talking about the state of ranked in Apex Legends. Not only is there an exploit that allows you to get to the top Apex Predator spot without even really trying at all, but there's also a ton of other issues that have come up from a number of pros, content creators, and just the general player base, and what Respawn's plan is to tackle it in the future. We're also going to give out 45 bucks, all you gotta do is like, comment, subscribe, you guys know the drill, but without further ado, let's talk about the state of ranked. So Apex Legends has seen a lot of ups and downs with its rank system. Most notably, we got a huge change in Season 13 where they did the ranked re loaded system and one of the unique functions was that they made it so that it was more team based where survival is the primary objective but kills are what gets you there and they removed the kill cap but there was diminishing returns on it it also did a couple of other small changes but overall it was well received because because it finally felt like a true rank system that rewarded you playing smart and playing well however in season 14 they decided to take a backwards approach and remove the diminishing returns on kp and well i'll let nice wig kind of give his thoughts on it oh you get full kp for all kills That's so bad. <sighs> if, that, if that's what that means, bro, that's actually so bad. As you can tell, Nicewig wasn't very happy about the changes that they had decided to do. It essentially turned ranked into a pub game, where if you just got a ton of kills, that's all that really truly mattered. And at that point, you gotta ask yourself, well, what's the difference between ranked and pubs? Because all pubs is, is trying to get a ton of kills and possibly getting a win. And it's led to a lot of other issues. As we know, the matchmaking is completely broken right now. And well, Face Knife Down did actually bring this up. And Sammy Duck said that skill-based matchmaking will be changed either in December or early January and fixed. The massive issue issue of cheaters it does not help with this season as right now it is considered the worst state of ranked and for this one we're actually gonna get some insight from asu you're in rank sometimes i'll play ranked whenever they fix the rank system and now game's dead you try try get on it in a NA server 15 minute queue it's like filled with like maybe like two pred teams and then like they just sprinkle in all the silver plats and gold you actually want to get into a game so you queue up on eu you play 150 ping just to run around against like 13 different cheaters and DDoSers. As you can tell, when two major rank grinders are kind of fed up and done with it, Respawn needs to do some serious changes and look at how they have things set up. But instead, they seem to have doubled down. Interestingly enough, this season is going to be the second longest season we've ever had. But the crazy thing is that Split 1 will be lasting 76 days longer than the usual 45 or 50. This means in Split 2, we're only going to have 30 days, which basically ensures that cheaters that have been pointed out, such as this team right here with a level 1, 118 Pathfinder somehow as the top 200 Predator are going to absolutely abuse the system in the second split, preventing anyone from trying to actually grind it and get their dual rewards. Speaking of which, the rewards need a serious overhaul as well. The biggest problem is that the seasonal dive trails actually disappear after a season or two. Why they're not permanent, we have no idea. The grandfather trails from series one and two are still grandfathered in, so if you got Predator in the first two seasons, you're good. But honestly, one of the best parts of the entire rewards system gets taken away and you have to do it all over again. It's fairly sad to see because season 15 could have majorly improved it with a brand new Broken Moon map, but instead the only change they did was make the level requirement increase from 10 to 20, which has not helped with any of the cheaters whatsoever, and now a new problem has arisen, where a Reddit user Aeon Mark shows a glitch that is actually returning from earlier seasons where players are able to hop into gold and lower levels, even being in diamond and above, as long as they do some lag switching things, and some people were like, well wait, this could just be an issue with the problematic matchmaking. However, he uploaded another clip where he very clearly shows it working in a lobby and is a fundamental problem. Not only is the skill-based matchmaking working against the lower level players, now there are actually Predator players who are forcing themselves into their gold lobbies and absolutely decimating them. I wouldn't recommend doing this as there is likely to be a huge ban hammer by, by Connor Ford, but the fact that this has come back, especially when the W key meta is out where it's all about getting the most kills, it's very easy for a top level player to go into a gold or silver lobby and rack up a 20 or even 30 bomb fly up the rankings while there are legitimate people out there trying their best with a minimal split two and most likely won't get a dive trail but even if they manage to get it it disappears after a season let me know down below what do you guys think about the current state of ranked and also thank you to matching and the glitch gaming apex team for letting me use some of their footage from a recent tournament in this video if you want to support the team or this channel you can actually check out glitch energy they have a 40 percent sale going off on everything in their store this weekend you can even use code Thor and smash and it helps directly help the channel and the team and until next time legends keep slaying the outlands
and I'll see you out there.